All right, so we're just going to walk this a little bit, and I was going to talk to you guys about what's coming up here. Um, there, this is just a little meet where we kind of meet up on Saturdays uh, once a month, and usually it's in front of the on Van Buren, right near the In and Out Burger. So a guy came in, uh, put this car right up here, and he had a 2800 uh autocraft engine in this car so we're going to slow-mo this and just let you guys really check it out it's pretty crazy i was talking to the guy and to actually you know to get this engine to fit in the car you have to do a lot of cutting around this stuff because it's like these are i don't know they just there's the heads and stuff are just bigger so they don't fit like exactly as a VW engine does so it had um, a scavenging oil pump on it um, and, and it wasn't dry sump so he had it just scavenging from the valve covers and then uh, and those things can put out up to 100 pounds but he has it tamed down to I think 60 or so so it's all street setup uh, it has a Porsche type fan because they don't have if you look at the engine kind of show some close up here it doesn't have an oil cooler and there's no holes for one so everything's done through like the full flow type of a system and they have a really has a really large oil cooler underneath uh, the package tray in the back I think with a fan on it and everything it's just crazy so uh, they these engines are, are like race engines you know the crankshaft on them I think this one's a 2800 cc so I think he said it was like 100 or 104 I can't remember uh, cc cylinders and then 86 or 80 86 crank or something crazy like that and uh, I didn't even know they made them that big but you can see the scavenging pump there uh, you know you just don't see stuff like this in the street <laughs> This is an expensive engine. He was telling me he did 13 to 1 and he's running uh, E85. So you can run a really high compression, I guess, with E85 and it won't ping. So it's like a way to do it. You know, you use, you have to put really large jets in the carburetor. So it's all set up for E85. He's running E85 on the street and really high compression and, uh, I don't know how many horsepower that thing is, but I'm sure it just completely hauls ass. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. And he drives it on the street all the time. You know, there's a lot of the tins missing, but he, he has the deck lid. I think when you shut it, there's a, a couple inches standoff. So the and with all the uh, tin all cut out around there, it's almost like a Baja bug. There's so much airflow going around it. So. It, you know, it doesn't suck its own hot air back up as easily. It still, you know, can, but the way he has it set up, I guess, when you shut the deck lid, it's still open about an inch or something like that on the bottom. He has this cool lighting in there and stuff with it. And the uh, 48 sound there. It sounds crazy. So really, you know, you just don't see autocraft engines on the street, you know. They're, they're just so expensive. It's like seeing a Potter racing and those are going away. I heard that he was talking, talking to him. He's been around a long time. He knew a lot of people that I knew from the old days and stuff. And uh, the guy who built the engine. And they ran this in a, a similar engine in one of the cars with a turbo on it. And they took this engine out of the turbo car and they taint, you know, made it into an NA engine. So pretty crazy, guys. I'm telling you, you just don't see autocraft stuff on the street. But this is a cool little meetup here. We just kind of meet up so it's like the second Saturday of every month these guys all kind of meet up and I, I usually go to it because it's kind of fun a lot of different guys coming from all over the place some of, one of the guys comes from LA in this vert coming up here he comes out from LA to come out to Riverside to hang out so it's pretty cool and uh, a lot of fun guys there hanging out you know come from I don't know where all the guys come from they come some of them from Riverside some of them from all over the place they come out to Riverside and there's a lot of old school racers and stuff in Riverside so but they don't always come out to the events 
you not won't see him there all the time but that's kind of neat that this guy showed up I forget his name but uh, it was really neat to see an autocraft street car you know that's just you don't see that 13 to 1 I, I bet that thing's probably in the sevens maybe even lower maybe in the high sixes and the eighth I'm betting that car is pretty fast so we will uh, check out the rest of the cars and uh, I'll bring you guys uh, the next event when we get one going I don't know what's happening coming up there's a bunch of stuff coming up but uh, I don't know which ones I'm gonna go to I was gonna go to Madeira this this weekend and then the heat and then my air conditioning in my house actually fried completely blew up and the compressor blew up on my roof uh, and uh, then when it when the power surge from that happened it blew up my pinball machine and uh, my printer um, my LED controller for my kitchen under cabinet lights fried um, the cable box so the power surge when the air conditioning went out just blew up every half the house for a while there I couldn't even use half the plugs in the house because the uh, all the stuff that blew out um, I think it was drawing too much and then when I flipped the breaker on it nothing would work so it was just like nightmare stuff for a few days here still haven't fixed everything yeah, I got a call. Guy had to fix a pinball machine. I don't know that. I don't know if it'll even be fixed. It's uh, it, you, the fuse. I pulled the fuse out of it. It's like blown, and I and I put a new fuse in it, and it blew right away. So there's major issues going on there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this and checking out that uh, Autocraft engine. I thought that was a pretty cool thing to share on. YouTube that's why I decided to go ahead and narrate this one because uh, I think it was pretty neat uh, you just don't see that you know maybe some of you guys in the world have never seen one altogether and you, know, you can see right on the back of the engine it says autocraft <laughs> it doesn't say you know it's it's wider than the regular VW case none of the tin fits on those so that you have to buy their tin that's what that that Porsche setup is there so Pretty cool. That was pretty neat. You know, there's my bus there. Got the red one out to go for a ride. Man, I forgot how quick that thing is. I'll tell you, that thing moves out. Tough left out of the parking lot. And I just was like, woohoo, this is fun. <laughs> so it's been a while since I drove it. Yeah, that one I've had up to uh, when I was passing somebody. I think I hit 95. <laughs> but I don't drive it like that all the time. Believe me, I, I would be a little hard on it. Anyway. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, we'll talk soon, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done that already.